Hello Facebook friends, hello. Hello Facebook friends, hello. I'm feeling real silly, so let's start the show. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Puppy, 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 puppy. Baby, puppy, puppy. No. Miss Krusty's here. Oh my goodness. Hope you're having a good day. It's a little bit gray here. I was, I was saying before, I forget to sing my song, and then we had to sing my song. I sing and I sing and I sing the song, and then I'm going to say what I was saying before. Does that make sense? To me, it does. It's kind of a gray day here, and yesterday was so hot and thick here in Winnipeg. Oh my gosh, I walked outside and I was like, walking into a... Now I know what french fries feel like. Just walking there like... Ugh, ugh. And then, holy, did it rain last night. How did you do, uh, my buddy Justin, how did you do with the lightning and thunder, buddy? Were you, were you okay, or did you have a... Did you have a little bit of uh, have to sort of hide? I, I know that sometimes when I get here thunder, I just sort of I freeze up quite a little bit myself. And I was driving, and it was pouring rain. Pouring rain. Like, coming down like crazy. And uh, I, the, the whole, all of uh, Portage, uh, Portage uh, Avenue was f very flooded. And I went, oh, I'm going to get all wet in my stage clothes, because I was at Rumors last night. And then the minute I got to Rumors, it was like, Throom! it shut off. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> it was just like, ee, ee, ee. shut off the rain for a second. And then I got in, and I was Starts raining like crazy again. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, you're okay. The power is out and I'm not scared. Oh good. I'm glad you're not scared. The power is out in your area? We got the power here. I guess you know we have the power here. Otherwise we wouldn't be doing a, a bit. If the power went out, Tassie, you'd probably just go blank. Oh. Yeah. I was trying to be funny where I was being like just fro... And then Miss Chrissy will reach over and push my head sometimes. <laughs> That's a good way for you. I think if you wanted to end a conversation with somebody you're having a, hey, I just want to, uh, uh, and it just freeze for a second. People are like, oh, I think it's frozen. Let's just, uh, <laughs> and then somebody will walk by in the background. <laughs> you're the only thing frozen in the whole thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Sammy says it's bluebird and hot today. Um, no, oh, okay. I'm glad you have bluebirds. Maybe that means blue sky or blue bird. No, oh, Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. Zippity doo da, zippity a. I'm in a really good mood. My oh my, what a wonderful day. I have to tell you how anxious I was though to do um, rumors last night. Very incredibly anxious, and um, and then uh, I remembered to tell myself I'm not anxious. I'm actually very excited. And we filmed it yesterday, and it went it went really well. It was really nice. It was for Adams, which is the Adam is the Anxiety Disorders Association of Manitoba. So, and then Julian Rowan uh, opened up the show, and he is so so funny, really really funny, and uh, nice clean material. And he lives with some anxiety as well, so it was a good it was a good fit all the way around. Yeah, it was really good. I think I have an eye booger that bothers my eye. Okay. So let's read a couple of books, shall we? I guess that's why we're here. We're not here to hear me go. No, puppy. Okay. That was Miss Christie. Okay, I'm going to read. Uh, I will surprise my friend. That's what I'm going to read, and it's a Mo Willems book, and uh, it's a Piggy. And uh, so Piggy's voice is here. Is that Piggy's voice? I think that's Piggy's voice. Right there's Piggy's voice right there. And Ellison's voice is right here. I think that's the elephant voice. So I got that. And then What Do You Do With An Idea? It's a book that um, I just picked up. So I'm excited. <laughs> Let's read this one. I will surprise my friend. <laughs> I need my peepers, Mr. Peepers. There we go. Peeper, 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 peepers. Doo -doo -doo. Kenny Robinson. Looking and sounding great, Tazzy. Thank you, Kenny. Kenny Robinson is the first person I ever did comedy on stage with. And he has been a mentor to me right from the very beginning. He treated me like an equal right at the very beginning, joking with me and making me feel welcome. Because a lot of people, when I first started doing comedy, they didn't want, uh, they weren't very nice to me. Because sometimes the people thought they were like here and I was just starting out here. And Kenny was above a lot of other people. Like he's always been a... 
Like he's just a superstar comedian, very, very great. And he didn't, he just reached down with his hand and brought me up like that and made me feel equal. Even though talent wise, we weren't equal, but he made me feel like I could do whatever I wanted. And I, 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 I blame him for some of my success. Blame you, I blame you. It's your fault that I have been successful. Hmm. There you go. I love me some Kenny Robinson. He's like my big brother. He takes care of me. Good morning, Tamara. 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 Sorry. My glasses are dirty. I will surprise my friend. That's the book I'm reading by Mo Willems. I am going to meet Mo Willems this year. I'm going to, I'm going to do some. So I'm going to try to get a hold of him and go, hey, listen, can I meet you? And he'll be like, who are you? And I'll go, I'm Taz. And he goes, he'll go, oh. You mean Kenny Robinson's friend? I said, yeah, that's who it is. Kenny Robinson's friend. <laughs> I will surprise my friend. I don't think that's Piggy's voice. No, well, I'm just saying it like, oh, but I guess Piggy was, she was thinking it. She was like, I will surprise my friend. How's that? Look. It's a squirrel's voice. It's a squirrel. Remember the squirrel? I think that I did the squirrel. This is the squirrel's voice right there. Right? That's a squirrel. That's a squirrel voice. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to surprise my friend. I'm going to surprise my friend. I'm going to surprise my friend. Yes, I'm going to surprise my friend. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Look at her. She comes. 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 I think that's how a squirrel would laugh, eh? <laughs> you surprised me! Oh, I did! I did! I surprised you! I surprised you! I surprised you! I surprised you! Let's do it again! Okay! Mm -hmm. Okay! Okay! Do it again! Okay! Okay! Mm -hmm. Bing! Hmm. Ah! have an idea. We could surprise each other. Oh, yeah. We could surprise each other by the big rock. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea, right? That's a good idea. Surprise each other by the big rock. You go this way, and I'll go that way. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so good. Oh, it's going to be so good. I'm going to scare her. I'm going to scare him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think they maybe should have just put the rock on one side of the page instead of the middle. Mm -hmm. Did I scare anybody? I, I would scare everybody. I'd be like, I'm behind the big rock. I'm like. <laughs> Where's Jero? Where's Piggy? <laughs> they looked over the <laughs> looking at the other side of the rock. The wrong side of the rock. Wrong side of the rock. Uh, he's not here. Well, she, she's not here. Where could my friend be? You know what I'll do? I'll look on the other side of the rock. I'll look on the other side of the rock. Both thinking the same thing. <laughs> this is silly. 
She's not here. Oh, he's not here. Oh, no. Maybe. Oh, now they're starting to have silly thoughts. Piggy's lost and, and, and almost fell off a cliff. Or maybe. A, a giant bird grabbed Piggy and flew off with her. Or maybe. Oh. A scary, scary monster is trying to eat her right now. Oh no! Piggy! Oh! Poor, poor Piggy. Maybe Jill got hungry for lunch. Piggy must be saved. I'm hungry for love, lunch. I must save her. I must get lunch. I will save you, Piggy. Lunch time! Ah! <laughs> they scared each other. <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel the clamp. That's very. I'm just scared. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, that was a surprise. A, a big surprise. <laughs> Bloom, blank. Next time, let's just play tag. That's a deal. <laughs> that was a silly book. A silly book. I think that's book number 330. What is that? I don't know. I'll have to check and see. I think that's like 335 or something like that. Maybe more. I'll have to look and find it out. Boodle, boodle, boop. Here's a book. Uh, it's written by Kobe Yamada. Yamada? Yamada, maybe, I think. And it's illustrated by May Benz Bissum. And it's called, What Do You Do With An Idea? And I just like the, the cover, so I thought, oh, we'll get this book and read it. So here we go. Yeah. Open the boot, the boot, the boot. <laughs> oh, and this book was by, um, who let us read this? What does it say? <laughs> it is by... Blah, 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 press. So thank you, press. For letting me read the book. I do that if I can't find it. I just pretend that. One day, I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered. What do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It, it seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. But it followed me. I worried what others would think. What would people think? say about my idea. I kept it to myself. I hid it away and I didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit I felt better and happier when it was around.
It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. It sh I showed it to other people, even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they'd think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird and that it was a waste of time. And that it would never become anything. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different, if it's weird, or even if it's a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it. I played with it. And most of all, I gave it my attention. My idea grew, and it grew. And so did my love for it. I built a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up to the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. I liked being with my idea. It, you know, it kept me, it made me feel more alive. Like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think even bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because it said, it's good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. Now it was a part of everything. Then I realized that when what you could do with an idea, you change the world. Hmm. Simple, right? You have an idea, it, you can change the world with the ideas. Everything from the first fellow that banged two rocks together and saw a spark and made a fire to the first lady to discover some medicine or the you know the Wright brothers when they had an idea and people I'm sure that the Wright brothers they're the people that invented the plane I'm sure the Wright brothers um people thought oh these guys are a little bit you know Amelia Earhart when she said she was going to fly around the world right and and that I just it's an idea that you have is your idea don't let somebody tell you that it's not a great idea just let it be your idea not all ideas have to start out great but they start out as ideas, right? Not 
all in, uh, not all ideas start out as inventions, but all inventions start out as ideas, if that makes sense, right? Change doesn't just happen. It's other people having all kinds of different ideas, and then the one idea can change the whole world, right? Yeah. Just like peace. Be kind. Be kind's an idea. I have an idea. Let's be kind. That's what it is. So do not ever let anybody tell you that your ideas are not valid, that they are not cool. That idea is weird. Well, you know what? Weird just means different because we're not used to it. And guess what? I bet you lots of things seemed weird, right? Before cars that could, well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, you know what? When I was a kid, there was a, uh, I can't remember the, the movie that it was where the guy was, oh, Dick Tracy too, talking on his watch with a, on, which was a cartoon character. He'd talk on his watch and there was a picture there. And people were like, what? Well, that's weird. Like, I bet you, you know, that's never going to happen. And now that happens, I'm doing it right now with you. Right? I'm not in the room with you. TV was weird before. People were like, that's weird. That's never... Back in their days, radio was weird. Even when, you know, the telephone dude, what was his name? Was that Edison? Who was that? That no, wasn't it. Alexander Graham, or Graham Bell. It rings a bell. When they said, oh, we, could, we can probably hear a voice from hundreds of miles away, thousands of miles away, tens of thousands of miles away, across the ocean, around the world. And they're that's a weird idea. That's not going to happen. And guess what? <clears throat> and that's what's happening right now. My picture and my voice can be seen all around the world. We have somebody from Australia the other day that was joined us. So that's pretty cool. But it doesn't have to be something big like that for it no. to be, you know, really important. Somebody was the first person to put sprinkles on top of a cupcake. That's right. And, and now so, it happens all the time. Right. So I was going to say somebody put oatmeal and raisins together. And everybody went, oh, I wish it was chocolate chip. <laughs> I have an idea. We should get a puppy. Now, see, that's my idea. And Miss Christie is saying, no, nope. because she doesn't have uh, as the same creativity with me but as, as I am. Uh, she, well, she's very creative, but I'm thinking that we should have a puppy because nope. that's my idea. And every idea. No. Nope. We should have a puppy. Nope. Please, can we have a puppy? Nope. I want to. No. 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 Puppy. No. Puppy. 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 No. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, that's no. a really good idea. These are not my hands. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, they're attached to my arm. So they're my hands. Anyways, um, what Miss Chrissy just said is maybe we're gonna get a puppy. So I'm gonna live with that in my heart, and I'm gonna let you go and go on to your day. Reminder that tonight there is no uh, show tonight because I am at Rumors Comedy Club um, talking to the first uh, responders and the frontline workers today and thanking them so much for doing their job. If you uh, are a, f a frontline worker, uh, contact Rumors and you get a ticket for free and your guests get in for half price. I'm going to be talking about my thing, my experiences with hospitals and doctors and the people that um, have changed my life. So that's what I'm going to do. So you go have yourself a great day. Remember, it's okay to get mad. It's okay to be sad. And it's okay to get frustrated with the people around you. You just have to remember to be three letters. Justin's already got it written there. A, B, K. Always be kind. And I'm a little bit nervous and anxious to go tonight. So I'm going to close my eyes and turn the anxiousness into excitement. It might take a lot of the day, but I'm going to do that and I'm going to go have a good time. Justin said, uh, good luck, Taz. You'll be great. Oh, thank you very much, my buddy. I think I will be. I'm going to be as great as I let myself be and be yourself. Be you. And don't worry about being perfect because in all that you say and all that you do, you never have to be perfect. You've just got to be you. So you go be you. I will be me. Miss Christie will be Miss Christie. And lots of love. Double love. Double love for me and Miss Christie. Thank you so much. I don't have... Um, I don't have a uh, ending song yet written for the morning show, the morning show, the morning show. Here we go with the morning show. Do you have a song, Miss Christy? Do you have a song? Can I have a puppy? No. Can I have a puppy? No. Can I have a puppy? No. That's the end of the morning show. And she says, No. I heard maybe. No. Still heard maybe. No. Always maybe. No. <laughs>